Hi everyone and welcome back to my Mixed Media Art Journal channel. Um, ever since I played with my gel plates the other day and came across doing the image transfers, I've had an idea in my mind to try and replicate that using foil because um, I've got a mink machine that's sitting there not being used very much. So I, I've been trying all sorts of different processes and I finally came across one that worked because I don't actually own any uh, foil transfer paste or mink pastes um, that you can do this with. So I was trying to think of what I had at home that would work. Um, at the moment we're just creating a bit of a background for my uh, foil transfer. So I'm using the dilutions paints and doing a bit of a ghosting technique using the wet wipes through my stencil. The product that I'm going to be using, or the products that I've found work really well to do this transfer are the Golden Soft Gel Medium in Gloss and the Ranger uh, Collage Medium um, to stick down the thin papers. I did try using the ultra thick, the heavy um, gel medium but that didn't work quite as successfully. So I'm just putting a little bit of the uh, gel medium, the soft gel medium onto the uh, gel press and a little bit of the heavy, heavy body paint and mixing it together. The reason I'm putting the heavy body paint on is one to make sure that I've got a thin enough coat and I can actually see what I'm doing. You can see I'm taking off some of the excess paint and gel medium that I had on there just on a scrap piece of paper so that I've got it almost transparent and you can see the image from underneath below. So I've got a gloss medium, a uh, gloss magazine page from a fashion magazine, something that's got really quite thick dark lines I've found tends to work best so you can get something a bit chunky and again burnishing down the page really really well just peeling it up just to make sure that I've got an image transfer. The important part to this is to actually put the foil straight onto your print, that's what's going to lift the print and put it onto your background. Uh, I've found the medium doesn't stay wet enough if you put the gel press onto your background and then try and put the foil over the top. You have to transfer it onto the foil itself, which means your image is actually going to be reversed. Um, I've just gone and put that in through the mink machine or my laminator just to get the transfer. And while I was waiting for it to come off, I've cleaned off all my equipment and pulling off my image. So I was really excited at this stage to see that it actually worked. Um, you can see the side where it's quite dark, there was quite a lot of black on that side so it's got a full image but where the circles are and so on it's quite light and open um, so it transferred really really well. Using the contrasting colours too I think really helps. I've, so here I am um, doing the process again and um, this time I'm using the Ranger um, collage medium. It's the old version with the Claudine Helmuth one but I think the, the newer version is exactly the same. Again just creating a background because I've been playing so much I've actually run out of all my backgrounds. I have tried doing this and you'll see later on um, doing it on printed paper and um, some pre uh, gel pressed paper as well and it works really really well. This is a hit and miss process um, depending on the image you're transferring. It's never going to be a fully clear image um, just because of the nature of what you're doing and you're transferring an image. It's always going to be slightly murky at the edges but it adds to that sort of grungy handmade look that um, I certainly like and sort of just adds an extra bit of sparkle. So again, just creating a background. You can see it's just a, a little bit of the medium that goes onto the surface and a little bit of paint. Mixing it up and again, mixing it through and having a piece of excess paper on the side to roll off any um, extra paint. So you can see again, I've been playing a little bit. <clears throat> and here I completely mangled a piece of tissue paper trying to glue it down. I thought I was being clever seeing it had some of that matte medium that it would stick but instead it st stuck to my brayer. Um, but I glued that down. I'm quite excited to use that piece of paper some, in some other process. So again burnishing down the background really really well. 
make sure that there's no bubbles in the background. You can lift it up slightly just to make sure that you've transferred it. And you do need to work fairly quickly because you don't want your image to dry. Um, and you do want to make sure you've got a fairly smooth surface as you're transferring it onto the foil. The other thing you need to be aware of is make sure your background is, whatever you're doing, is dry. I would suggest actually doing that before and not doing it as you go along um, because you may find that some of the um, foil sticks to your um, painted surface. It is really, really important when you're doing this that you do clean off your um, gel plate in between prints because with the collage medium being like a glue almost, um, it is obviously going to affect your surface. So I've just been using wet wipe and it's been printing beautifully after that. You can see here I am trying to rescue that piece of tissue paper. So um, my very delicate way of applying glue over the top of everything and adding extra texture. I really am a messy worker. <laughs> Okay, so just going to the um, my laminating machine to get my foil print back and again pulling it out. So you see again you've got your transfer. Of course the one transfer that worked beautifully using this technique, uh, I forgot to film. I thought that I had pressed play and I hadn't. So the journal page at the very end is this one. Um, was ecstatic with the way it came up and I forgot to press record. So I hope that you can use my crazy idea and do something creative with it. Um, I've been really excited playing with this and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel if you're interested and see you next time.